okay. We're making this video to show you how we get a drop of blood from the ear for glucose testing. As I told you in, this is Calvin, <laughs> as I told you in, um, I don't know, my tweet, I guess, uh, I don't use the lancet that comes with the glucometer. I use a needle, which you can get from your veterinarian. This is a 25 gauge needle, and it just works better. It works every time, never have a problem, uh, doesn't appear to cause, you know, any more uh, discomfort than using the Lancet. Um, and I think you'll have better luck with it. It will, it will give you probably a, a slightly larger drop or a uh, more accurate aim. And I don't try really to see the vein at all. Um, if you go along the edge of the ear, and my assistant Nicole is going to point just anywhere along that edge. Um, you will, you know, even if you get it wrong the first time or occasionally, you will start to get the feel for sort of the distance, the tiny little distance from the very edge where when you poke the needle in, you're going to get blood um, and you do not have to see the vein. So she, uh, in fact, I'm going to let Nicole tell you what she does here. Um, what I do is, wh whichever hand is your dominant hand, take, have the needle in that hand, um, take the pinky, take your pinky and put it in the base of your cat's ear, and then with your other hand, pull the ear taut. Um, and basically... There's usually a little bit of a color shift in the ear, and that's usually what I aim for, but you're kind of just going to get a feel for it. I mean, you may see the vein, but you may not, and I, I don't want yeah. you to... It sounded like you maybe spend a lot of time absolutely trying to see it, um, and there's lots of times, I mean, we could do this in the dark practically. Right. Uh, you don't have to see the vein. It's, it just runs along the edge of the ear in approximately the same place in all cats and all parts of the ear. So it's just a little bit in. Um, you want to try to not poke all the way through the ear because then you'll have a drop on both sides. But basically, you're going to just pull the ear nice and taut. Hold the needle between your thumb and forefinger. And just poke. And, and then, then if it doesn't start to come out, and actually, I should have said this first. If you see that you're not getting, or if the ear feels particularly cold when you start, massage the ear until it's warm in the same manner that she's massaging now, except she did already stick the needle in. And in order to make a bigger drop come out, you can see what she's doing with her thumbs. Just rubbing back and forth, getting a nice drop. And I slide my strip in on my glucometer. You may want to slide yeah, your strip in first if you're, right. <laughs> your cat's a little jumpy. We knew Calvin's we, really good for us. <laughs> we knew we were going to talk a while, so we didn't have the glucometer turned on yet, but you, you probably want to have that first. And then... And let the drop go onto simple. the strip. Hold the ear. And that's it. Say hi, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're lucky, your cat will be this good for it or get this good for it over time because, as you can see, um, it really doesn't bother him. He's purring. <laughs> he sits still. He has this done to him two or three times a day um, for the past year. And that's it. 